you need some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we got some new content. We got the brand new Legends. Today is Legends Saturday. In approximately, like, nine minutes, Legends all drop, guys. You know what that means. Be on the block around 1030 Get ready to start sniping out some legend pieces. Today is the day to get your Lawrence Taylors, your Willie Browns, your Michael Strahan's, your Larry Allen's, and all those. Kevin Maway, Alan Page. Those are, this is today to get them. Legend Fantasy Packs will be live in about nine minutes, boys. So you know, when people open those packs, things are down the block progressively. Those packs are open more when there's better legends and send, like packs. So depending on what you guys view as this legend drop, as if it's high tier or low tier, typically depends how much the auction will get killed. Like... When Lawrence Taylor dropped, auction got killed. These, I don't know yet. I like them. But I don't know what the general consen the general consensus is as a Madden community of what you guys think of these cards. It is a running back. And the other one is a, a safety. Oh, yeah, no, these are awesome, actually. I remember now what they are. Guys, these are pretty cool. You're going to really love these cards. But before we get into this video, make sure to go down below. Smack the like button. I know it's a content video, so get this video to 100 likes, boys. If you're loyal and you watch my videos every day, always hit the like button. It should be like, the, when you open the video, the first thing you should do is just like the video. So take a screenshot of you liking it. Send it to me, uh, tweet it at me on Twitter, and I'll retweet it. I have no problem doing that. Just make sure you like it, screenshot it, and send it to me on Twitter. And guys, if you haven't already, go down below. Hit the sub button, boys, for your daily content, tips, gameplays, market, everything. Hit the sub button. Turn on the notifications to get notified every time I post a brand new video, boys. Now, for these legend, these legend players, we have a halfback and a safety. Now, before I get into this, into this whole video as a whole, the players don't come out for about eight minutes, so I'm going to show you the majority of them on Twitter because I like to get you know, a little head start on this. i got to beat Xerxes. I just hung up on him to make this video real quick. But, guys, let me go over to Twitter to show you guys these legends over real quick. And, guys, I, I imagine the price of these... I don't want to say too expensive, but they're going to be expensive. So my best recommendation for these new cards are going to be to wait. Because I think these cards are both 91 overalls. They're going to probably be, I'd have to say like 450, 500k stock for at least a week. If you wait two weeks just about and you wait till the prices come down, they can probably get them for like 350, 300. And also, I have a pretty good tip to get them pretty cheap and pretty efficiently. I'll tell you guys that towards the end of the video once this cards actually officially come out. Let's head on over to Twitter so we can go over these stats. All right, guys. So on the left, as you guys can see, we have Gale Sayers. Gale Sayers, 91 overall halfback for the Chicago Bears. He's black and white, so you know he's, he's an old picture. Um, he's probably Marcus Allen type error, maybe. No, he's definitely younger than Mar I mean, older than Marcus Allen. But he's that style of running back. He's kind of tall. So Gale Sayers is on the taller side as a running back, just like Marcus Allen. He's six feet tall. Marcus Allen's obviously taller than that, but six feet still pretty tall. He's got a 90 speed and 90 excel, so that is huge. He's going to be one of the fast. He's probably the fastest running back in the game. I don't include Bo Jackson because that's not practical to anyone to really have him right now. He will be the fastest back in the game. He has 90 agility, 83 carrying, 67 catching, 90 elusiveness, 75 trucking, 89 break tackle. So, powered up, does Carl have the break tackle threshold? So, he's going to be a beast. He can't obviously truck that well, but when you have a back with 90 speed, 90 excel, and I think evasive, you're probably not worrying about trucking too much anyways. The break tackle is what matters, right? It's like Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders always has a bad truck, but a pretty good break tackle is what that means is that he can break out of tackles while being tackled, but you don't have to truck them over, which is what I actually prefer as a whole. Sorry, there was like a fuzz in my face. You guys probably see it just floating there. Anyways, I really love this card, but I don't think Gale Sayers is a long-term option. I'd much rather wait for like a Ladanian Tomlinson, a Barry Sanders, a Saquon, or a Zeke. So that's why I'll probably be waiting. I probably won't be picking up this card. He's so close to Marcus Allen that I think at this point I'm better off just waiting and terms of you know switching over it'll cost a lot more to switch to gale sayers right now although the next card i'm going to show you guys is definitely a lot better in my opinion like that's a much better drop like i'm hyped for this one gale sayers is really good don't get me wrong if you have the coins go out and bet him he's going to be the best back in the game that you're going to see consistently like i said he's not long term because this might be the last card he gets for quite a while and although he's good right now he won't be that good in a month or so even a week or so if you know they drop a new zeke and you saquon barry Danny. that's what i'm waiting for those are the cards that i really want on my team so i'm waiting for that gale sayers is definitely awesome though so let's get to the next guy. The next guy we got is Brian Dawkins, 91 overall free safety. He's six feet tall, 87 speed. I'm hyped about this Brian Dawkins. Finally, we have a good free safety. We have Pat Tillman at strong safety, that's fine. But free safety has been horrible. Earl Thomas has been a bum for me. Earl Thomas has 90 zone, right? But he's five foot 11 and he's slow. 
So this is what happens. Either they throw the ball deep, or Earl Thomas gets burnt. Okay. They throw the ball, but Earl Thomas is a, is, is a hawk. You know, he has a good zone. He's like, oh, I'm right there. I'm ready for that. Oh, wait, but then Earl Thomas just too tiny. He gets mossed. Or they run the ball. Earl Thomas gets there because he has good play rec. Right away, he's like right on the ball. He knows exactly what to do. Oh, wait, he gets trucked over. Or he gets to the tackle in time, and then he gets fallen forward for like another five yards. Earl Thomas has been horrible for me. He's really had a weak left side for me. I needed a new free safety, and I really did not want Merton Hanks, but this Brian Dawkins, right? He's got 87 speed right here. So he's the fastest free safety in the game. He's one of the fastest secondary players in the game. 85 excel, 84 tackle, that's solid. 89 play rec, 88 pursuit, 89 man, uh, zone, 80, uh, 91 hit power. So if you put lockdown on him, this card has an 80, uh, above 90 play rec, above 90 zone. I think you can even get above 90 pursuit. This card as a whole is going to have threshold play rec, threshold zone, and threshold hit power. That's like a three headed monster right there. He's fast, can hit, and can cover. That's everything you want in a safety. And guys, I highly recommend you go pick up their power up cards. If you think about it, right? You can power up this Brian Dawkins to an 89 overall. He'll probably have about an 85 speed, 87 excel, 85 pursuit, 87 zone, and an 89 hit power. If you power him up to that and you, you cam him up and stuff, you might actually be able to just threshold him out on zone and play rec still, although you will be a little behind on hit power. You'll probably come close, but you're still going to be a beast for safety. Definitely an upgrade over Earl Thomas, in my opinion. I'm definitely going to be picking up this card as soon as I can, but I do have to wait until they actually drop, you know, obviously until they drop in price because I'm not dumb. I'm not paying 700k for Brian Dawkins at release. Right, right away, he's going to be like 700k. He'll probably come down to like 550 by tonight, and then he'll probably be around 350, 400 in like two weeks. So I'm gonna be waiting because there's no point to kill my. I'm not gonna kill my whole coin stack on one card. I could. I'd rather wait till the 350, wait two weeks, and then end up picking them up for a very similar price. Now, in my personal opinion, is Brian Dawkins long term? Yes. The only guy that's gonna be better than him in the near future is going to be a Sean Taylor. But based on them dropping Vic last night as a mutt 10 player, I mean two days ago for his mutt 10, I do have a strong feeling. I mean, Zerxy been talking about this. I think that Sean Taylor might be the Mutt 10 safety card. So, he's not going to be practical. Because most people are going to take probably Michael Vick with their free player. So, Sean Taylor is going to be out of reach. So, for that reason, I think I'm going to go Dawkins. And even if Sean Taylor does come out, Dawkins has the zone, the hit power, and the speed. So, there's really no reason that you'd want Sean Taylor. Sean Taylor is going to be probably slower with just a better hit power. Slightly. Like, I think I'd rather go with Dawkins. He's more well-rounded for me. And he's tall. Now, let's get back going over to the Madden screen because I think it did just drop. Okay, so we're back on the Madden screen, boys. Let's go check the packs, see if they're out. Because, you know, EA is never late on their packs. We got the Legend Fantasy Pack out already, of course. Like I always say, guys, if you're going to pop a bundle today, if you guys do, I don't know. Fantasy packs, from what I've seen, have been pretty bad. But if you guys want to pop them, these are pretty much your options. You could take two fives or one eight. Now, the one eight costs more than two fives. So, two fives, you can get 10 Fantasy Packs for about 11,600. 11, which is cheaper than 12,000, but you don't get the 85 plus. So it comes down to, would you rather have an 85 plus guaranteed or two extra legend fantasy packs? Here you get 10 packs, here you get eight, but you get the 85 plus. So 85 plus could be a full legend, but I've seen a lot of people just play 85s. So that's all on you, what you guys would rather do. That could give you a better chance at the top piece. Let's go check the auction block, see if any of them are up yet. Typically they are not up yet. Here comes the waiting game boys that I have to play every single time. All right, guys, I imagine they won't be up for quite a while. Probably like 10 minutes. I already kind of have this video done, so I want to get this out as early as possible. So I will be ending it right about here, boys. I don't need to drag it out much longer. I could wait for the cards, but you guys already saw the stats. You kind of know what's the deal with these cards already. Would I recommend Brian Dawkins? Yes. Power him up. Go play his solo challenge right away. Get his power up card. Power him up to an 89. Have a stud free safety for a while. And then if you need to, buy the full card and power him up even more. But for the time being, Gale Sayers is an amazing running back. But if you already have Marcus Allen or Bo Jackson powered up or something, don't don't bother. But if you don't have a running back, Gale Sayers is an awesome option. But I'm waiting personally for my next upgrade. I love Dalvin Cook, but I wasn't worth it. I love Marcus Allen. I already have him. I already have invested, right? He's already invested into. I'd much rather wait for a Zeke, a Saquon, a David Johnson, let's say, a Le'Veon Bell, a da Ladanian Tomlinson, or Barry Sanders. Preferably, preferably Barkley and Barry. Those are my two that I'm waiting for, even Ladanian. Guys, that is it for the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let's get this video to 100 likes. Comment down below what you think of these legends and who you'll be picking up. Make sure to hit the sub button. Don't forget that on the way out. And turn on the noti bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out, boys. See you guys in the next video. Peace.